Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is local transport and before we get into any lessons boys and girls we need to sanitize so let's take our sanitizer and sing our special sanitizing song sanitize every day so the germs can stay away sanitize every day so the germs can stay away yay good job everyone for today's lesson we will be talking about traffic signs prepositions length and transport. Now boys and girls, for us to start our lesson, let us go to page 23. On page 23, we are going to be matching and we're going to be matching our road signs. Now a part of transport is the ability to read what the road signs say. We have five road signs that are very important and I'm going to explain what each one means. So let's take a look at the board. The first one that's in your booklet is the one where it has a car and it's blue and a red line on it. This one says no parking no cars are allowed to park in that area so whenever this sign comes up we know that it is no parking the next one that we see is this one it has a line in the middle and is red this one says that there is no entry which means there is no way to go through so when you see see this one you need to tell the driver that no 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 mr driver we are not allowed to go through because that sign says no entry the next sign that we have we all know this one this one is a stop sign which tells any vehicle that is on the road to stop so when you see this one, the person on the bicycle, the person in the car, driving the car, the person driving the truck must stop before they can continue. Then the last, the second one that we can see from the last is a traffic light sign. Now this one allows us to either go, stop, or prepare to stop. This traffic light we can see all over our cities and towns. 
So the next time you see a traffic light, you know that it's telling you something as the light changes. Then the last one that we can see is a triangle of someone walking. This one is very important because when you see this one, it is telling you that you are going to meet people who are walking. And people who are walking across the road are called pedestrians. Let's say that word, pedestrians. Well done. So if you see this little sign with the triangle, it is telling us that it is time to walk. Now you are going to match the road signs to the boxes that you can see on your page. Let's take a look at the boxes. Now each box has a different instruction and you need to match with your pencil from the road sign to the actual instruction. The first box says stop. Stop. Which road sign matches the box? I'd like you to please draw a line. Well done. The next one says pedestrian crossing. Pedestrian crossing. Remember, I said pedestrian is a special name we give to people who are walking. Which road sign shows us a pedestrian crossing? Good job. Please draw a line to that one. Make sure your lines are neat. Now the rest of them you are going to figure out by yourselves. It says traffic light. Then the next one says no entry. And the last one says no parking. When you're done with this exercise, boys and girls, which I'm sure will not take you too much time, I'd like you to please join me on the next page, page 24. On page 24, we are going to be following a set of instructions. Now the instructions that are there are for us to do or draw. We're going to start by looking at our picture. On our picture, we have a dog or a puppy, I'm sure, and then we have three people sitting on a bench. Now we need to follow these instructions clearly. And if you're not sure what to do after we read the instructions, please ask an adult to read for you. So the first thing that you're going to do, boys and girls, is to draw a circle around the child sitting in the middle. You can see that we have three children. One, two, three. We need to draw a circle around the one in the middle. Very good. The next one says, draw a ball in front of the dog. You can see that we have a cute little dog thing. And you need to draw a ball in front of the dog. Well done. The next one says, Color the color in the bench on which the children are sitting on. You can see that the item that the children are sitting on is a bench. You are going to color that bench. And the last thing that you're going to do is draw a tree behind the three children in the picture. Behind means the back off. So your tree must not be next to the bench or close to the dog, but behind the children. Make sure your tree is long enough for us to see it. Once you are done with that, I'm pretty sure it will take you not too much time. You can move now to the bottom of your page. It's asking you to color in the shortest object. Now short in this case can also mean small. So you need to find the one that is the shortest. 
There are some that look like they are the same size, but we're not interested in those ones. We want to color the shortest. So first look for the shortest one and then color it neatly. Please try to stay inside the lines. The next thing you're going to do is to color in the pencil or pencils that are the same length with the same crayon color. So it is now your job to look for the crayons or the pencils that are the same size. If you look carefully, you can see that there are some that are the same and some that are not the same with the ones next to them. So the ones that are the same, boys and girls, you are going to color with one color. For example, I can tell you that the ones in the middle look like they are the same. So you need to choose a color and then color both of them the same color. Take your time with your coloring, boys and girls. There is no need to rush. And after you have done this part of the exercise, we're going to do another activity on the next page, page 25. On page 25, we are going to start with our transport. Now we have some sentences here that need to be matched with the pictures. Let's take a look at our pictures. We have a car, an aeroplane, a bicycle, a train, and a boat. It is going to be our job to look for the actual words that complete the sentences. We know that all of these things are transport, but where do they move? We're going to do number one together. Number one says, a car moves on dash. A car moves on dash. Does a car move in the air? No. So we're going to leave that first word box out. Does the car move on land? Yes, a car moves on land. So you are going to write the word land that starts with a L. Very good, boys and girls. So the rest of them, you're going to tell us where it moves. The rest of the words in the word box are air, land, water, and railway. So take your time, boys and girls. Read the words nicely. Write them correctly on the dotted line. And when you're done, read the sentence to make sure it makes sense. Don't forget to put your full stop when you are done. Ooh, I have given you a lot of work, my dear children, but I know you can do all of them quickly. Although, it's best for you to make sure everything is correct. <laughs> I'll see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook, Active Kids, to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls, and I really hope you had fun. I know I did. So, if you are lost or you're not sure what to do, that's okay. You can always ask for help. Just make sure that you end up finishing your exercises by yourself. Now that we are done, we need to sanitize. So let's take our sanitizer and we are rubbing inside our hands. Very good. Around our hands. Good job. In between our fingers, on our wrists and our fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Sashi was supposed to come and pick me up after the lesson. We're going to the park, but I don't see him anywhere. Sashi, 
Oh, there he is. Are you ready to go to the park? Wonderful. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. <laughs>